too late I can't forget you Hey, how's it going everybody? Um, welcome to my YouTube channel, Nick Shop here. Ooh, what's this? Okay, now, I'm going to show you guys, and, and everybody, let's just say, I'm sorry, I forgot about the ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put it that way. Boys and girls. <laughs> okay, let's get into this video. Uh, basically, here's the workshop. Well, I figured out how to make this game practically work with the mods that you download. All you do is, say like you went to 1967 Dodge. I already don't want it, but I'm just going to estimate it. All you do is click the subscribe button. Hit automatically download here. And then when it's done, say like... You can always click back, or you can click the middle of your mouse button, the uh, higher you scroll up and down with the little mouse uh, middle button. I always like to press down on it, and it opens up a new tab, or you open a new tab with it, and you can read, subscribe, click the little X, then deal. My subscribed items that uh, I have, click like right here, and you go to subscribe items. Say like you don't want that mod that mod no more. You just unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Well these are what I have. I have picked out personally because I think they're awesome and I think this is what I like. My standards. None of that other crap. But these are so far what I picked out, what I like. And to get all this to work in the game, all you do is go to your library. As you see it's running, which it actually ain't because it's right here. You just click here, click properties, and now go to your updates. Click on high. I I don't want to click on it because it will re update my game. All you do is just basically click, and then you just click on that one and done deal. Leave everything like how that is. Then you can go to like your library, go to downloads usually it be in your downloads area where it will update the game as well don't mind that I activate Windows crap Microsoft is doing something stupid then I hate them but you go to, I just hit after that's all done click verify and it will verify the game and all the thing like that then just go hit browse your files which is right there Look at this minimize uh, back to my library minimize that and then you can come down here and double click that. It won't give you the error no more, which I had the error. After I did all that, I figured this out on my own. After I did all that, then you just click on that. And now you have right here. Now I can go in, click here. Just let it do its thing on the mod. Let it install. And you click OK. And it will say true. That's installed. Click it again. Sometimes they give you not responding. Do not do anything. Just let the app uh, continue to do its thing. That's what I call it. Let the program run its course. It may take a little bit. It may take a while. Just hang in there and just do some stuff that you want to do. Kick back. Open a beer. If you're a beer drinker. If you kick back open pop like I do I, I drink Mountain Dew um, Mountain Dew regular mostly I used to drink Voltage Live Wire Cold Red and some of the new Mountain, um, Mountain Dew Baja Blast I don't drink too much of that because you can get sick of it <laughs> and different kind of Mountain Dews I like to try stuff with the new ones but the game feel is what I like to try. That's always the good stuff. Especially around uh, the time that Halo 3 came out. Oh man, that was some good Mountain Dew back then. Good stuff. Yeah. This is all you do to make sure your program's going to do it 
and this is how you get your street legal street legal workshop installing mods you have to do this because back when I was starting I did not know how to do all this it sucked because I was sitting there like well if these mods ain't gonna work then forget this I didn't know and then today I looked it up on YouTube and I seen how you do this part and some people say it ain't working for me it's not working for me and I'm like oh you can't be kidding me I basically I bought this game all back for five bucks oh I was happy because eBay Amazon they want like two to five hundred bucks for this game I think let me look since I got you guys here I might as well look right to show you if there is any I don't know if it'll show or not but we're gonna find out together just click on eBay so it's installed thank you and all my mods are installed then just click up here 45 bucks 30 bucks 90 <laughs> Five bucks. What? Well, I bought it on Steam for five bucks, so. I, or maybe it was on sale for like 50 or 90 cents, something like that. I know it was like half half off and stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. No. Yep, there it is. Ah. <coughs> I know I seen it last time I seen it, it was like eight hundred bucks or something like that. I said like, you're nuts, people. Uh, nope. Hmm. Oh, right here, nineteen bucks a dollar. Wow. Ain't that something? This game used to be hard to find. I guess they changed the prices. That's bull crap. <laughs> but luckily Steam had it. And I didn't know there was actually DLC for this game. And it's like five bucks five six bucks. What the free? That's it. That's all the DLC they got. This making car so even more HD. That's why I think bought it. I already don't give a crap. I already play my Rainbow Six Siege. Car mechanic simulator. This is all my DLC that I have for it. I have Every one of them except for the Lotus, and that's it. Watch the rewards program. Hmm. But Wrecking Trucker, the only one I need, I have all of them except for three, which I want the Mexico DLC, which I really want the 40 x it's like 1199 uh, but this is how you fix uh, street regal racing red line I figure so you guys and ladies hopefully this tutorial will help if you have any questions just ask and I do my best to answer it in the best way as possible as I can and now I'm going to make a netter video probably without my microphone I don't know yet well I do with my microphone and show you guys this game the mods work and everything well thanks for watching hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys later